Turns out everything you need to live on doesn't quite fit in a shopping cart. Brandon Day has been on the streets of Chula Vista for a while. 2017, so it's been a few years. Brandon says he ran into a bit of bad luck. He tells me after helping a friend do work on the roof, the ladder they used collapsed underneath him, seriously injuring his leg. The injury has had a spiraling impact. Next thing you know, I'm a couple months behind on rent. It's all it takes, you know, just one simple accident and no insurance coverage. <laughs> that was the beginning of the end. I had a relationship with a beautiful woman, a house. One thing led to another and it just all fell apart. Brandon is just one of the more than 500 people living on the streets of Chula Vista. On Tuesday, the city's voting to take the first steps of a homeless encampment ban. If they pass that ordinance, definitely push us out of the city. Brandon says if city leaders move forward, he'd like to see more resources provided to the homeless. At least have it available. Don't sit here and, and force us to move and then have nowhere else for us to go because then you're just creating this little circle of policing. The bottom line is if you've fallen and you haven't gotten up yet, that's a good way to keep them down. Chula Vista's Mayor John McCann tells me its homeless outreach team will provide people with options on how they can get off the streets. My opinion on that is like, uh, you know, I see both sides. Joseph Rubio does outreach in the South Bay. So we can work on getting you off the streets. ABC 10 News has followed his journey from living on the streets to helping people get off them. While he does see some need for the ordinance, he feels there's a need for more money for resources like detox beds. You know how hard it is? I had three clients show up here today. I was only able to help two. The third one, who knows when he'll be back? He might die out there. We don't have enough detox beds. According to a recent survey, 60% of the emergency shelter beds in Chula Vista are occupied. McCann tells me the city has plans for a future project that offers permanent supportive housing and would create more safe parking lots. As different cities come up with their own ordinances on encampments, Brandon has one ask. Don't forget, we were all working our butts off just like every one of these individuals are. At one time, I had a life. I'd like to get it back again, but kicking me while I'm down doesn't help. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.